Right, so now we've got our build running with Rollup. What we want to do is add the unit tests in. So we want to install Jest and React testing library. So what I first want to do actually is I've defined the main and the module. So if we go in Rollup config again, we've defined these two outputs, but we've not actually defined the output here for the index.d.ts. So we also need to do that. So let's go ahead and in package JSON, I'm going to add this in and essentially the types is going to be slash dist slash types index.d.ts or actually what I'm going to do is delete this slash here like that. So now let's save that and also what we also want to do is have files and basically the files is going to be the dist. So if we hover over files, the files field is an array of files to include in your project. So basically we only want to include the dist folder. So again, we put that in here. So now what we need to do is close the terminal down and let's get started with installing everything we need for our Jest and React testing library. So what I'm going to do is copy everything across. So now what we want to do is install the following dependencies here and import them in. So essentially it's testing library, Jest, DOM, testing library, React, type for Jest, Jest itself, and we also need Jest environment JS DOM. So what we need to do is configure that in our package JSON to say, let's actually specify the test environment. So in our case, it's going to be JS DOM. So now that everything is installed, what we now need to do is we want to specify that the environment we're using is JS DOM for Jest. So essentially JS DOM is for anything to do with browser-like environment. So in our case it is. So that's what we need to do is have a new object in here. And this object is going to be having the key of Jest and we want the test environment to be of JS DOM. So let's do that. So now that that's all the dependencies we've installed, all we need to do now is add a new object in here of Jest and set the test environment to JS DOM, which is adding any unit tests in for any browser-like environments. This is the environment we want to specify as JS DOM. So now let me save this. And one more thing we need to do is add the test command so we can run tests. And essentially that is going to be npm run test and essentially it's going to be Jest. You can add extra flags as well, which we will do. So let me just copy what I have and that is what it is it's essentially saying watch all of the tests and it's verbose so let me save that and now what we want to do is create test files so let's go ahead and do that and now basically what will happen is it will look for anything that ends in test.ts or tsx or whatever it may be so let's create the new file in here and this can be named page.test.tsx or test.tsx or whatever you want it to be. And what I'm going to do first of all is import and in here is going to be the React testing library that we want. So at testing library of Jest DOM. So that's the file we install. Let me just save that. And then what I'm going to do actually is create a describe block. And this is the page component. It renders title and children. So I'm just going to let basically GitHub Copilot do everything for me. And we need to import page from the relevant file, which is in index.tsx here. And then we also need to import render from React testing library. And then all we need to do is close this off now and save. And we also need to add an extra close bracket in here. So now what I want to do is basically run the test and essentially is getting test title te and children is rendering the component out is getting the items by text and then is checking to see if it's in the document so let's go ahead and do npm run test and now you can see the jest flag is running and now you can see there's an error it's failed let's go find out why it's failed so now you can see here there's an error saying experimental syntax jest isn't currently enabled so we need to find out what the issue is with that and if we scroll up out of the box just supports babel which will be used to transform your files into valid js based on your babel configuration so basically what it's saying is we need to install babel and what babel is 
is it is a JavaScript compiler. So basically we need to transpile our JavaScript and TypeScript code and then essentially is done with bubbles. So now what we want to do is fix this. So what we'll do next is install bubble and configure that into our project as well.